Hey everybody, Michael Fabiano here from Sports Illustrated Fantasy, and we don't have Bimageddon coming up, but we do have four teams on a bye and a glut of injuries, especially at the running back position. So to help you set up your week nine roster, we've brought in SI's betting and fantasy analyst, Jen Piacenti, to let us know who should we be picking up off the waiver wire. So Jen, let's start off with the quarterbacks, and are we really picking up Mike White? Is this where we're at right now? Listen, it, it is where we're at. I, I can't believe it, but it has been a crazy week, and we've got a lot of teams on by. And if you're in a super flex league, you could be in a bit of a bind. So listen, gather around, kids. Let me tell you the legend of Jets quarterback, Mike White. You know, he stunned everyone, leading the Jets to a surprise victory, threw for over 400 yards, three passing touchdowns, 82% completion rate. Now, of course, he did throw a couple picks, but listen, as you mentioned, we are in a bit of a shorthanded week, so we need everybody we can. The matchup this week, actually pretty good versus the Colts. The Colts have allowed 19 passing touchdowns at the second highest mark in the league to opposing quarterbacks. And look, Ryan Tannehill has had three passing touchdowns versus the Colts both times he's faced him this year. And those are the only two games that Tannehill has passed for more than one. And while we're at it, you may also want to look at Tua Tagovailoa. You know, last week was a tough one versus the Bills, but that's a tough defense. In his previous two games, he threw for 600 yards six touchdowns and this week he gets the Houston Texans. Uh, Jen also likes Taysom Hill who may or may not be back this week but Jameis Winston is out for the season and Justin Fields. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm feeling you on that one but he is coming off a pretty good performance last week. All right let's move on to the running back position and Jen you know what the big news Derrick Henry out for the regular season could be out for the postseason as well for the Titans but for fantasy purposes uh, we are not going to be with the number one running back in fantasy football. What do fantasy managers do? Okay, listen, you're in a bind. Uh, Derrick Henry has probably led you to the lead in your league. You're, you're in a situation, and so what you're going to have to do is something you really don't want to do, and that's pry open your wallet with your fab and put some bids on some players that don't seem that exciting. Number one is indeed Adrian Peterson. Now, I know, I know. 36-year-old running back. It kind of reminds me of the time I spent a whole lot of money on these really great Christian Louboutin pumps, and then they immediately got the heel stuck in the grate in New York City. But listen, you got to do what you got to do. You can't walk around New York City without a cool pair of shoes. You can't win a fantasy football league without a running back. So Adrian Peterson's the guy. Listen, he was one of the greatest running backs of all time. This situation is set up for him to have success. Good O-line. They want to run the ball. It's worth a shot if you want to win your league. I don't know who else you're going to be able to grab that has the potential, and I did say potential, to have this much production. Now, you also want to look at Jeremy McNichols. Now, we mentioned him in the video a few weeks ago. He is going to remain active in the passing game. Remember in week four, he was the leading receiver for the Titans. He saw 12 targets versus the Jets. So Jeremy McNichols will also see an uptick in usage. He's also worth a fair amount of your fab this week. And Jen also likes Boston Scott, uh, who looked pretty good last week. Jordan Howard, notice how we didn't mention Kenneth Gainwell. Yeah, that was not good. Ty Johnson of the Jets and Carlos Hyde, who could be in a starting role if James Robinson is out for the Jaguars this week. Let's move on to the wide receivers where uh, Devontae Parker made a very nice return from injury, putting up a great stat line, and he's got a really good matchup this week. Yeah, I mean, the facts are the facts. Devontae Parker is a fantastic wide receiver. It's just that he's always injured. But listen, you might benefit because somebody probably got frustrated and dropped Devontae Parker. He's available in 65% of leagues. He caught eight of his 11 targets for 85 yards versus a tough Bills defense. And as I mentioned before, this week they face Houston. Houston has surrendered the sixth most air yards to opposing wide receivers and an average of 9.6 yards per target. So go get Devonta Parker. And if you're in a deeper league, I really like the idea of grabbing Brian Edwards. Sometimes getting a player coming off their bye week is a little bit sneaky. He plays more snaps than Henry Ruggs, sees the same amount of targets, and he's seeing 20% of the team's air yards. Uh, Jen also likes Jamison Crowder, uh, who is going to see a lot of targets with Corey Davis banged up. Van Jefferson and Jamal Agnew, who I tweeted about last week and said sneaky waiver claim, Jamal Agnew. Believe it or not, folks, he right now has been the best wide receiver in Jacksonville. Uh, yeah, Marvin Jones, LaVisca Chenault, not good. All right, let's move on to the tight end position 
where Tyler Conklin's got a great matchup against the Ravens. Yeah, he does have a great matchup versus the Ravens. And listen, on the season, he's seen more targets than Higby, Henry, Goddard. He's run more routes than Goddard and Schultz. He was targeted seven times on Sunday versus the Cowboys, and he's available in 75% of leagues. Go ahead and get Tyler Conklin. And one more note, should Darren Waller remain out, be sure to grab Foster Moreau, available in 99% of leagues. They did not miss a beat last week. He caught six of his targets for 60 yards and a touchdown versus Philadelphia, Foster Moreau. Great stuff as always, Jen, and of course, uh, for all of Jen's waiver wire ads, you can check out her column, si.com slash fantasy. And also be sure to check out the Sports Illustrated YouTube channel where you can find more videos, including fantasy advice, waiver wire, stardom and sit and so much more.